Good afternoon, SHS, and welcome back. I'm Ella Troop. And I'm Marina Quintanilla. Will everybody please join us for a moment of silence? And now I will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. You may all be seated. All right. all right, everybody. This weekend's daylight savings time ends. So that is Sunday at 2 a.m., thus moving our clocks back one hour for an extra hour of sleep that morning. We will now experience sunrise a little after 6 a.m. and sunrise around 5.40 p.m. Daylight Savings Time, DST, is the practice of setting the clocks forward one hour from standard time during the summer months and back again in the fall in order to make better use of natural daylight. So in the spring, we spring forward, whereas in the fall, we fall back to what would be considered real time. And today's weather should be cool, around the 70s. This weekend should be nice during the day and have cooler nights. Yes. Senior Portrait retakes our Tuesday, November 9th, next week. Miss Roach will assign you a specific time to show up for your pictures by today. So make sure you know your times. Um, fall portraits for anyone who did not take them will be Wednesday, November 10th. Those photos will run through your history classes. Your teacher will have a list of who needs to take pictures and will send you during their class. These photos are important to take as they're used for many reasons, including a school, a school ID, a photo update on Skyward, and a yearbook photo. So, make sure you get your photos taken. Okay. Lady Pirate Volleyball played Wimberley last night. We do not have the results at this time, but... Hopefully they are good, so we will update y'all whenever we can. And our varsity football plays at Ingleside tonight, so I hope you are all going to support for the last district game because playoffs will be starting next week. If you are interested in playing tennis in the spring, please go to room 37 to talk to Coach Allen. New and existing players need to talk to him by November 12th, so be sure you do that. Cross country leaves today for to Round Rock. So good luck to Zara and Justin. They run tomorrow. Safe travel to y'all and good luck. Um, TSI testing will start up again next week. Anyone that has registered needs to watch their emails from Miss Ivy. She was in you the date and time they will be testing. So make sure you keep up with your emails. And yeah. <laughs> Here's your reminder to get to class on time and don't get tardies or detention or ISS. Yes, and also, attention, juniors and seniors, Saturday Scholars is this Saturday. We hope to see you there. And for our meetings here at SHS on Tuesday mornings, we start off at 7.30 in the morning with Art Club and then again at 3.50 p.m. in Ms. Jagger's room. And then on Wednesday, so the next morning at 7.30, we have student council as well as 3.50 in the afternoon. Class officers, whether you go see me in the morning or Blake in the afternoon, it is very important that you are at as many meetings as possible. These meetings are also open to any SHS student. And also open to any SHS student are FCA meetings on Fridays at 7.30. Veterans Day is approaching and we'd like to honor the veteran in your life on the announcements. So if you would like, you can email your veteran's photo to Miss Roach at eroach at sanisd.net and she will put it on the screen for you so we can honor them. A uh, reminder that if you feel sick while you're at school, please go to Nurse Solis. She gives COVID tests, but you must have parental consent and sign up online. Students have Students should conduct daily self-health checks at home and stay home if you're feeling Ill, Ill. Also, as always, we will end things off with the thought of the day. Today's thought comes from John Piper, and it is, Beware of giving up too soon. Our emotions are not reliable guides. Rena, would you like to elaborate on that? Yes. 
So, Mr. Piper, right? That's how you say it? Yes. Piper, okay. Um, basically, don't let your emotions get the best of you. We just sometimes need to take a step back, take a breathe, inhale, exhale. Yes. Yes. So, do that. <laughs> As always, thank you all so much for watching. We hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we will send you, we will send you, we will see you back Monday. Go Pirates. Go Pirates.